得。So, madam, uh, I'd like to welcome you again. Thank you. And, uh, I'd like you to start off by introducing yourself and then your relationship to the late Melvin. My name is Ruth Park Petmo Pakai. And I'm his aunt. And you are? Chris Petmo. I'm his aunt. Think on over first cousin. So, ma'am, tell us. I mean, you guys will have to start on telling telling us why are you here today. Okay, we are here to speak out on the murder of our murder. son. For us, our family, it was murder. We have reached the conclusion that our son was murdered. We're not accepting any suicide. Our son was murdered, and we are only here so that government can be able to tell us why he was murdered and who murdered him. Who was, who, who was Melvin prior to his death? Melvin was a gentle giant. Melvin was very lovable, kind, funny, gentle. Melvin was everybody's friend. That's who Melvin was, a gentle giant. What was your last interaction with Melvin prior to his death? The last little action with Melvin was on the phone. Before Melvin left to go up on the tour with the president, he called, and that was the tradition he had. He called his grandmother and asked for prayer. He did that all the time. And that was the last time he called and we going on the tour with the president, and we should pray for him. That was the last time. You, you earlier spoke about raising Melvin, helping to raise Melvin. What what sort of child did, did you know him from his childhood to be? Melvin lost his mother when he was under three years old. So we raised Melvin, his mother's family, we raised him. His mother was the sister, sister between two of us. She was next to me. And Red, Melvin, we raised him in our family in a Christian home. This is the first cousin right here. All of these kids were raised together. Mary had never had any problem. He was raised as a normal child. Loving and caring. That's who Mary was. And when he became a young man, he went into the world with the same attitude. Today, you will see people talk about Mary all over. He gave you that character of Mary. That's why when people come to us and tell us that our son killed himself, this family, no matter where you took, take us, this family is not going to accept that our son, he's not even capable of killing a fly. He's going to kill himself? No. If our son wanted to kill himself, he was a tree officer. He would have taken a single bullet. He would not torture himself by shooting all over his body. Who would want to torture himself? And the circumstances surrounding this death is why we really have the family to say, our son did not kill himself. And we want to know who killed him and why. That's why. And what have you been told by the government? They say he committed suicide. The family said, no. Capital N O no. He did not commit any suicide. The people took Mary's life. And we won't answer for that. He will not serve his country for 15 years on a decent record. Then you kill him and want to bury him for that record to go into history. No wonder. We want our son's name to be clear. He never killed himself. We want justice for Mary. They must clear Mary's name. Then the, the, the government got the, the nerve to come to us after they killed our son. It took three, I mean, two weeks. Nobody came to us to even say, people, oh, you're sorry. Nobody came to us to say anything to us, to even officially explain to us how our son died. That has not happened from government yet. For two weeks after his death, they come to us to ask about his burial. Three weeks after his death, they come to say they can only embalm him. Have you seen the body of Bevan? I've seen the body. I've seen the body of Bevan. And the body, the body I saw, he had dressing on this side of his head, he had dressing here, and he had a dressing here. When I looked on his abdomen, I saw a hole through his shirt. 
I saw a hole there. When I was trying to go lower to the legs, we were not allowed to go that far. They would let the funeral home. So those things are assault on my son. I'm sorry. I need a different answer than the suicide. We're not going to set up. This family will not set up for any kind of suicide. He must fill up the record that he did for this government. He lived his life. This is a man who put his life on the line when you, when you, when you are working with the president. Do you know that a bullet comes, that the, 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 the bullet guys can take bullet for the president? Now this is the man who is being down his life for his country. Then he stayed all night working. He was not a madman. He worked all night guarding his president. He was not a madman. But suddenly in the morning, he gets mad, he takes a gun, and he killed himself. Does that make any sense to anybody? It does not make sense to us. We will not buy that. Have you been able to talk to any of Melvin, close friends, COVID down? All of Mary's friends that we know, even the ones that were dancing at his wedding just in October, they danced there in the rain. Not a single one has called to say sorry, nor has anybody come to us, including government that said, nobody has been to us, nobody has been to us to sympathize with us. It was only, I think, like last two weeks after his death that they sent their low class EPS people to come find out about his burial. After they posted on the executive manor West, national West website that they were investigating, they have not come back to us to tell us the result of the investigation. But they have come back to tell us, say, the kid will come find out how you're going to bury him. The body has not even turned over to us. Government still has his body. Tomorrow we'll make it three weeks. Government still has that body. I mean, people, people, some people are concerned about why have you been so quiet for a while since the incident, the family now. Yeah. Why has the family been so quiet? You see, that's exactly what the family is, a quiet family. But the reason why we have been sitting back from the day of Mervyn's death news when he hit us, his wife has been in hiding. His wife has been terrified and has been in hiding. So if we are going to protect our daughter, we can come to the public, hoping that it was just going to be few few days thing. But now, with three weeks tomorrow, and why, why, why is she why is she in hiding? Why? The reason she's in hiding, I can't speak to that. It is a maybe we'll say well security issue or something like that. Yes. Who's so after? Still a security issue. Yeah. Have you been able to talk to his immediate boss, the late Melvin, immediate boss? The EPA boss. Yeah. He does not even want to know whether we exist. He does not even want to know if Melvin is dead. This EPA boss has never contacted us to come and sympathize with us. He has never been there. Has the president he has called? Never been. The president is the same as the EPS. They all work in the same on the same road. They are all operating under the sea direction. Nobody has called. The president has not called. EPA has not called. They have not been there. They have not even sent a half hour delegation to come and see about us. That has not even happened yet. Who's the most senior officer that has, that has visited you as family? We don't have any yet. We, I, I'm not sure. But not, because what happened was the, the people who they sent from the EPS that are ready. When, when I tell you the way we train there, since this is lying, it will be something. But the people who came to us with EPS, they don't have no answers for us. And I don't think they really have a like, high, higher position in EPS. There are some low class people. Like everybody is afraid to come. So they run like you collect the janitor. No, we're not going there. You pack the janitor and the supers and you say you're good and they prosecute you for us. That's how you see it. Because they see Bushi as a chicken. They don't see him as. Officer who served his country for 15 years, they don't see him and that because they will see him in that light, they will treat the family better than that. Yeah, while serving on the previous government, I mean, what was the, the, the mental state of, of your son? Our son early has always been sound, normal person. Not a day that we have had any, anything whatsoever, any message, any regarding our son. He's just been a normal human being. As he grew up a normal kid, he was still a normal person until he took his life. Did he have a child? 
he had, he had, he had three children. But with his wife, he had one son who was only four years old. Yeah. And these people come to us and tell us, say, uh, 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 three weeks after they, 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 they have killed our son, and they come to us and tell us, say, oh, we will just embalm him. We will just embalm him. You want to know how our son was killed and why? And we're ready for it now. And how are you going to go about that? Anyway, we are going to have to go and take placards and go out there, we'll go out there. We're going to see what society, we're going to see what society. Anywhere that we can find help to clear our son's need, that's what we're going to do now. Do you understand that a woman gave breath to him after giving him nine months and he was not a chicken? So, I mean, others who have called for specific kind of investigation to, I mean, to give, to show proof of death. I mean, even though we've, we've been told he was shot, mm -hmm. or he shot himself rather, I mean, do you want further, like some would say, uh, autopsy done on the body, or do you want to? From where we are now, like early on, we were not looking to autopsy, he was shot. If they had told us early on that they shot our son, we were going to be done. But since they say he killed himself, this opened the door for anything. As the family go on, I can't make decisions for the entire family, and his wife can stay out there. So they will have to come here and decide what they really want to do. So ma'am, I mean, I know you have, you have yours, experience with the lead, personal experience with, with Melvin prior to his death. Yes. And what was that? Melvin was a lovely person. He loved everybody and cared for everybody. There was not a day if you go out there and ask friends that maybe made anyone to feed back. My last interaction with Melvin, I went to his house weeks before he died and he was cooking rice and when I said bushy <laughs> that's how we call it bushy I said bushy I'm hungry he said and then I'm going to cook quick so he can eat and then bushy started to cook the rest quick he told his son go and buy water for my eater to drink and I said I'm coming I'm, I'm wishing why all to a friend? I left. I stayed about well, 10 minutes before I could come back. He was still cooking the rest. He dished out the rest, put it in the plate, and he served me. And I started eating. He told me, he said, Ete, do the rest, yeah? I will find you something. I went to him every other morning to check on him. The moment I stepped there, he said, Oh, the security woman not come again. Because I used to worry about him. So I always went there to check everywhere he lived. I followed him. But the last time I called Mary and I asked him about my other son. I said, Mary, have you seen Leo? He said, Yes, he did. Leo was at the house with me yesterday. We ate. But I'm going on a trip with the president. I'm coming back. When I come back, Ede, I will call you. Une. For his wife to call me on the night and say, Mommy, something bad happened in our family. What? Put it down. Put it down. And we go. She said, Push it down. I said, What can you push it? The moment I said it, I accepted it. Because I went to Kakata and all my wife coming. I had a motorbike accident on the 18. And the, the motorbike gash my toe, you can see. It almost cut off. That I knew that. So I lost somebody. I feel in myself that I really lost somebody. Since Bushi died, no one ever asked anything. There was some friends that danced at his wedding. We saw them in a group dancing and, you know, uh, demonstrating certain way when they go for the training. There have never been anyone who have come to us to even call to say anything about Bushi. Bushi is lying there in struggle. And the government are not saying, you know, 
The more I fall back about it. Shogo, who is the EPA boss? Grew up with Mary's father and uncle in Komotande. He passed every day to go to, to go to work, come to town, here in North Town, and goes back. He ate with Bushy father and uncle. He has never stopped one day to even see Bota. Now on behalf of the government, but on behalf of himself and his family, people that he knew, no one. Not even the president, George Weir, who Bushy guarded for, for, for three years. Bushy had been guarding him. Bushy was a son on the motorcade. Whenever I used to live here, I read so whenever the motorcade pass, because sometimes I go into the market, I will see you, I wait for him, then he will do that. Like he will do his thing like this, ain't no, like this, ain't no. No one. There are not been official statement from the president or even from the EPA boss to say that one of the officers died. But believe me, for us with the family, would you not believe that Bushi killed himself? Bushi did not kill himself. We raised Bushi. We know Bushi. Bushi grew up in a Christian home. Bushi will not take his life. Bushi is not crazy. Bushi was not crazy. Bushi did not take his drug. Bushi got it. President George Weah from the morning, I mean from the night until the morning. Then Bushi take crazy to kill himself. There is no record to show to any hospital that Bushi had a medical problem. And if Bushi had a medical problem, he was not a guard in the president. He got it. The president Eddie Johnson said it for 12 years. We heard nothing. But only come to this government just to take him and carry him. Brought him back as cargo. Let's see, brother. Let this government tell us something. Bushi did not commit suicide. Let it clear his name. We are ready to die. Yeah. We are ready to die. Yeah. We kept silent for reasons. Now we are ready to die. Yeah. We are ready to speak up. We call upon civil society. We call upon the legislator. We call upon them. That was Dylan. We are that Kunduba. All those men that are up there. We call them to come and help us to speak for us. We need justice. We need justice for our son. We need justice for Bujia. We need justice. They murder him. That's what I'm gonna say. Thank you. Murder Bushi. Do you want his body as family? Eh? Do you want government turning over his body to you as a family? Because they came to us and told us they were wounded after he wept. 15 years, served this government faithfully. Yes. They came and said they wanted to do the environment. If they wanted to do the environment, then they gave all the body. We are capable to bury Bushi. We are not depending upon government, but because he served in government, that we have been giving government chase. It's not like we are able to bury Bushi. Thank you. What may you have here? Do you have something to say as well? I know he was yes. your person, and okay, people who so knew him, you, you guys know that like. Yes, they do pray for him. Yeah. Bushi must say, my father calls me, I think I'm five. We walk together, my mom and my mother. Our grandmother is so. She's a mother. Mm. Pray God and let us say she will bear no God. It's so happy for her. But when she took care of us, she came back home. No. If you want she tell you you're wrong, we should all struggle, suffer. I want my took care of who not question for for, 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 for the division. I want to start a ministry. With the grandchildren on the woman, she went a BWR. We will go so now our food when you saw him pop up. Who she see so? I want to keep her there. We call him shopo. I want to keep her there. We play football together. How push she see so? I can say push can and take a life. We believe it. You go up 100 percent you can't down. We believe it. Who says so? Good everywhere we live. Even into a farm, go to a farm. You just take a survey into a farm. You just take a survey into a farm. They will tell you about bush. Everywhere we live. West Bed me a bush. People a resetting town now. Decide to get married. He decide to get married. That's all that's played me a bush. Bush can go away where I go my way. But to just come, just get a, a problem now. Bush came himself. I told the people, I told them say, it's not true. 
So we are appealing to the legislators. Let them try to investigate. But we know he never told in life. So we beg him, even the women, the women of that bureau, Mama Eddie Josie said, if that boy save you, you gotta do something. Don't sit. You know Bushi. You know him very well. Yes. Put yourself together. You gotta investigate Bush case. Back in your we hold your foot. Bush lean down there. Mm. You then lean down. Bush is there. You do for justice. He me This is our older brother. This woman are crying, not her daughter yet. This other woman, not her daughter yet. The two children is this. So you see, this is a family. Thank you.